hello and welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be probably one of the most requested ones every time i post chipping videos people want to know how to hit that soft high shot that stops really quick uh, if you watched my previous chipping videos this is going to be the 80 20 style meaning that if you had a specific distance such as a 10 yard chip you're going to want to carry this roughly like i said before it's not a math going to be roughly about eight yards and let it almost stop immediately and run out only about two yards of a chip shot so it's going to be a pretty high not in terms of like okay it's not going to be pretty high shot it's going to be a pretty spinny shot i guess for this distance it is going to be a pretty high shot but it's not going to be like a massively high shot that a lot of people expect like you're not trying to flop it over anything here there isn't a wall that you're trying to go over so there's completely it's completely unnecessary to try to hit this extremely high so first and foremost, the first thing that I want to say is if you guys have not mastered the previous two chipping styles, which is the low trajectory and mid trajectory style, you should probably do that first. And the reason why is because this is a chipping style that looks very nice, but honestly, I don't think you should be pulling it off very often in, during a round. It's only really going to be when you have like, for instance, maybe a bunker in front of you. This is probably, this is probably one of the worst examples. You should not be doing it when you have a chip like this especially because there's barely any grass here so it's going to be very easy to miss hit this so the only time that you should really be hitting this is when you have an obstacle in front and you're trying to carry the ball like maybe there's not much green to work with and you just want to carry it over the obstacle and stop the ball as quick as you can and as close to the pin as possible so again this is not one instance where you want to be pulling off this shot but another reason why i think if you cannot master the other two shots is because this shot is going to require quite a bit of finesse it's got a bit of feel and if you really don't feel good in your chipping it's going to be very difficult for you to pull this shot off because you need a bit of confidence with this shot and if you're telling me jen but i need to pull it off pull this shot off multiple times during a round you probably have really bad course management and you're just short sighting yourself all the time so we really need to talk about course management there and not your chipping style but honestly at most you probably need to pull off this shot once if even during a round so don't be too this is just a shot that's good to have in the bag but if you cannot even pull off the regular shots yet don't be too disheartened by not being able to pull off this shot just master those first and then when you get a better feel with your chipping you can start focusing on this shot there we go Okay, so at this point, I'm going to assume that you've watched my other chipping videos and that you're here to move on to the next step, which is the high chip. So I'm just going to go straight into the setup that we're implementing for this chip. Obviously, I'm using a 60 degree wedge here. So one of the big difference between having to pull off this chip is that for the previous chips, we were using a lot of the leading edge of the club. Whereas for this chip, you're actually going to start implementing a bit of using the bounce which is something that we normally do in bunker shots. We want to use the bounce so that the ball can spin a little bit more. So the first thing that we're going to do is setup wise, it's not going to be a huge difference. Um, let me find a decent line. Like I said, this is not a great, great place to be doing this because there's barely any grass here. So setup wise, it's going to be pretty similar. I'll, maybe we're going to feel it a little bit more forward on our ball position. Cup face is obviously going to be open. And for this chipping style, we're actually not going to have forward press. So we're not going to have backward press because we don't need that for this shot. But we're not going to have forward press. So we're going to have pretty standard... Um, oh, basically, we're not doing this. We're going to, like I said, we're going to use the bounce a little bit. So we want to be a little bit more square, I would say. That would stop pretty quick. So, so essentially, it is a bit more forward stance in your stance for the ball position you're going to feel like you open up your um aiming a little bit so your feet is probably going to be aiming left of your target whereas your club face is obviously going to be facing towards your target and we're going to have to be taking a lot of a bigger swing that we think we actually need obviously for such a short shape we might be thinking like we only need somewhere here but because we're trying to hit this high we want to use the bounce we're going to be taking almost like here and also, your weight is still forward. We don't want any of these backwards weight because you're going to be using too much pounds. You're either going to scalp this or chunk it really bad. So we still want the weight to be forward. Maybe if you don't want it to be too much, maybe 60-40 instead of 70-30. Oof. 
I don't know if you heard that, but I hit the pin. <laughs> Came out a little bit hot. Again, this, this slide is just very difficult to be able to really hit this very soft. And came out pretty high. All right, so that is essentially what it is. It's just a little bit of difference in terms of the setup. That's not much. From there, what we're going to be doing is using a bit of our hands to be able to feel. And that's why I said you need a bit of you need confidence to be able to hit this shot. Because if you don't have confidence, just like you're going to decel and you're not going to be able to commit to the swing very much. And that's when the mistakes come in. So next up, I'm going to show you guys an actual instance where I would be using this chip shot, a high chip shot. So for this position here, this pin is only two paces on the green. So as you can see, three paces if we're being generous, but anything close to that rough there is definitely just going to stop there. So I'm pacing out another eight paces, which gives us a total of 10 yards. And we need to land this at least seven to eight yards. Seven is being pretty generous. But yeah, so this is an instance which I would use this chip shot. Um, again, like I said, you don't want to put yourself in positions like this very often. And even if you're in a position like this, the, the worst thing is not actually going to be hitting it past the pin. The worst thing is going to be leaving yourself with another chip shot. So what we want to do is not hit a shot that's too difficult. We don't want to be too cute with this shot. We want to give ourselves a good chance to be putting after this shot. So in order to pull that off, we need to hit a pretty regular shot and not a super fancy flop shot because that is a much lower probability shot. So that was pretty much perfect. Um, anything in that vicinity is obviously what we're aiming for. So as you can see, my ball did not really fly very high. It didn't do much. All it really wanted to do is was to spin the ball pretty quickly onto the green, which is what I did there. Again, like we said, the worst possible outcome is to be chipping again after this. You've already short-sighted yourself, so you do not want to give yourself a difficult chip. You really just want to put yourselves on the green. So I hit that one a little bit heavy, but at most I've got about a 6-7 footer coming back. So we still have a much higher chance of making that. Rather than if we left it in the rough again, we would have no chance because we would still be chipping again. So let's give it another try and see if we can get this one close again. I'm still aiming here to land this about 8 yards which is just on the apron of the green. And again, that's pretty much all you can do from there. I would be happy with all three chips here. Now, I know what you guys want to see is that really high chip that basically goes absolutely nowhere. That is the... That is the flop shot. So because we don't really have, okay, we're just gonna pretend that we're just gonna chip right through here because this pin obviously we've got tons of green to work with. So I don't know, we've got like a nine yard chip, no, seven, six yard chip. And like I said, again, this is not a shot that you really ever should be using unless you're in a really really bad position and the first thing you need to pull the shot off is a really perfect lie which again how often are you going to get in golf and that's why you should never be pulling off the shot <laughs> and the other thing you need is essentially a full swing so you cannot be afraid to hit full on the shot and you cannot decelerate because this ball is going to go like absolutely nowhere <laughs> Yep, pretty much landed right there and stopped. So that is all we want to do. We just want the ball to carry onto the green and stop, stop fast. See, again, it stops immediately. But again, never a shot that you really ever need. And never a shot that you, you should really be trying because there are so many other shots that you should be doing in this situation and this is a very very unless you are super confident with it and you got a perfect lie it's gonna be very hard to pull it off and not only that but the risk is way too high 
So there's so many other things that, I mean, you could be, if you miss this, basically you could get yourself in a lot more trouble than you really need to be, so. Again, just a fun shot to have, but never really a shot that you need. So again, it's important to remember that we're learning to hit a high chip shot, not a flop shot, because chances are you're not going to need a flop shot. Um, and if you're telling me that you need a flop shot more than one time per round, that probably means that you need to work on your ball striking or your course management or both and not your shooting. So yeah, we're working on a high chip shot here that's going to spin more, which is going to allow us to play this shot for when we don't have much screen to work with. So we're not going to have to do anything too fancy, we're just going to open the club face a bit more, probably more than you think, because a lot of people, when I tell them to open the club face, they ended up going from a closed face to a neutral face, and it's not even one degree open. So you need to open the club face, put the ball position a little bit forward. Some people find it beneficial to feel like they're cutting across, but depending on your natural club path, if you're already someone who swings out to in, you probably don't need to do that. And then we're just gonna let the ball do its thing. Oh, well, so I hope that helps you guys. Don't forget, we're hitting high chip shots, not flop shots, because we don't need flop shots. Catch you guys next time.